I check this right. If you're the type of person that's always talking tough to females, or you always got so much to say to females, but when a grown man is standing this close to your face, calling you all type of crazy names, you ain't got nothing to say. You just want to be Mr. Peaceful Man and all that. Not even just some man. Like, you let a man that wear mascara, like, you got eyeliner on, talk tough to you, and you don't do nothing? This video is probably not for you. Right? No, it, it was clowning. It was just negative, man. No, no, no. Like, come on, boy. He, like, you I'm, don't I'm, think I'm, it was nothing constructive about it? There was nothing constructive about it. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I, I, I really, I really think you're a bitch. If you're the type of person that let your own coworker, I'm talking about your coworker, the person that you work with, talk tough to you on the job, and you do absolutely nothing, like how you be talking to these females, this video is probably not for you. That, which clearly you're not. You're not. He's not. Then shut your little hell the fuck up. Listen, everything I tell him pertain to that situation. I'm that telling you. you something. Stay your little hell away. And last. But not least, if you're the type of guy that'd be in a swimming pool with another guy and you have absolutely no problem with the other guy rubbing your inner thigh while he's in the pool and you just looking around like nothing happened, this video is probably not for you. Cut my best friend finna, she finna. Oh, go best friend, that's my best friend, that's my best friend. That's my best friend. If you're the type of person that has, let's say, a tough name like Bandana Black, but you all on YouTube wearing a purple and pink shirt. This video is probably, you know what this video is probably not, you know, actually this video is for me, listen, I can explain, because I know somebody's going to point out the fact that I have on a Nike shirt that's like purple and pink, but I only wore it because it was matching the kicks that I got, I got some Air Max 90s that was matching the outfit, so I was just doing the whole little outfit matching thing. Not only big YouTubers get bread out here, and I ain't got bread like him, so I can't get the little leather jacket and all that, but I can get some, some sale Nikes though. Anyways, let's get started. DJ Ben Ben Bandana! Hey yo, what's good? It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo. If you're new to the channel, if this is your first time on the channel, your first time watching any of my videos, make sure you click below, click below, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and at the end of the video, if you like the video, if you laughed at all, just give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. If you've already been rocking me for a while, you already watched some of my videos, you ever heard me DJ on the radio, see me DJ in the club, maybe in your city, you already know you're part of the fam. Heavy shouts out, salute to the Bandana fam, but let's get started. Listen. Academics, academics, academics. Now you know, I try to chill out on academics because I respect I respect what he what he's done um, as far as uh, with, with YouTube and his channel and everything like that. To basically built built nothing and, and made it into something. So I respect him for that. As a person, no respect at all. Total move. And I try to leave him alone. I try not to really say anything about academics because every time that I say something about academics, you got the little. Uh, app warriors want to get on in the comments like yo you just want to be you want to be DJ academics not realizing that I've been a DJ been doing this 14 plus years academics just posted today he's been doing it for 10 years which means I've been doing this before him just on a, a smaller level like I wasn't on YouTube and all that which I don't care what y'all say anyways but that's the reason why I don't really report on academics but it just got to a point um, of what he's doing right now that we got to talk about this bandana fam and I want y'all feedback on this too is it just me or does academics only talk tough when it comes to females? Like, whenever it's a female, whenever it's a woman, he always got something tough to say. When he had the whole thing with Nicki Minaj, he was going all crazy. Yeah, sis, this, this, and that. So, what academics doesn't understand is that academics is one of those kids who never came outside, right? He's one of those kids who just stayed in the house all day, little headphone on, little game computer, just just virtual reality. Like, his, his world is just the reality of video games and staying in the house where he's safe, where he doesn't realize that some of the stuff that you say and do in real life, somebody will really, like, do something to you. Like, will Nicki Minaj see academics, like, physically see him? Yeah, I don't think it's not going to be her boyfriend or a random goon that's running up on academics. Nicki Minaj herself might do something to him. But the thing that I wanted to talk about today is, so it's this, girl's, it's this girl named uh, Yes Jules. And I don't know whether academics deleted this. Um, I don't know whether he kept it up, but I was going to share with you guys first. And this is really what made me um, do this video. But we got to talk about 6 9 new songs. Well, his new music. Uh, 6 9 new music that's going to be coming out also, too. But we got to talk about this academic thing first, and then we'll get into that. So, academics is always going at females. But when Vic Mensa was right in his face talking tough to him, not even talking to the camera, talking tough to his face, he ain't do nothing. When Jeezy was on the show talking tough to him, he ain't do nothing. When, um... Uh, Star was talking tough to him. He ain't do nothing. But now that it's just Jules, he wants to be on Twitter. And he basically says, um, 
He put Shorty at Yes Jules. I'm going to keep it real with you. When ends came at you about being a culture vulture, a H who want to be black, a B who literally F her way to her position, I ain't care. Ain't my business. Don't comment about my S and think it's sweet. I love drama. And he put on uh, this one, same way you try to avoid the subject, B, don't tweet me again or comment on my S. I'm doing I'm that N, you a B who I know because literally I've seen you get F by N's trying to get an N off. Stop playing with me. I just had to say this in case you thought anything goes with me. Now, that's not even all of it. So this one right here, he puts, uh, was finna blast a little B on here who I seen tried to subtweet me recently. She deleted the tweet talking crazy though. Good, I don't F, F with you industry ends. I got dirt on all of you. Leave me alone. And this one he put, I let it be, and let it be known, any B, A, N, or H who got comments about me EPing a 6 9 documentary, but don't got the same words about 50 Cent, who also doing content relating to that, S-A-D, ain't finna let none of you ends try to lean on me, I'm some weak fence. First of all, when somebody's talking about you, like when somebody's addressing you, like this is a female trait to deflect. Like, why are you talking about 50 Cent? They talking about you. 50 Cent is qualified in, in, in street politics. He's able to, he's qualified in the streets to be able to talk about street stuff. You're not. All you can do is report on this. So when you're trying to bring up 50 Cent, why, why are you not talking about 50 Cent? Because he's qualified to talk about it. You're not. And this is the thing I don't get. Why you always got to go all crazy calling females bees and you ain't this, you ain't that. You, you talking real tough online, but in person, you don't have the same type of energy. And I just think that is wrong. I think if you're going to be tough online, then you need to be tough in person. If you're going to talk this way online, you need to talk this way in person. When the people in front of you, when the people talking tough to your face, you need to say something back. And I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to down you shorty or anything like that. I'm just saying that's the really the reality of it. Like you're in the media, you're one of the bigger people that's in the media. That's what comes with it. Um, the same thing with Snitch Nine, with Six Nine. Like if you want to do a documentary about him, like not only did you're part of the reason why they're locked up. Like honestly, academics, honestly, you're part of the reason why why they're locked up and they're faced like this because. You helped propel his career. You broadcasted every single thing that he did, every single troll. You reported on it. You emphasized it. You got it out to the people. Y'all was working hand in hand. He was giving you content to, to do. You was promoting him. He get more fans. Y'all both get more money, which I'm not saying is wrong. That's what y'all was doing. But now that you see that how it turned out, I don't think you should just be jumping on the bandwagon and let's do a documentary. Unless it's going to be a documentary of uh, kids don't do this because your life is going to be on the line when you tell. And now people want to be at your mom's and be at your baby mother uh, neck like that too because they serve the rest of their time in jail. Um, I just think that that's fraudulent and that's just fake on academics part. So he, he, he's benefited on both parts of it. So he benefited on 6 9 and them doing all this crazy stuff because he's promoting and doing content on it. And then now that they're locked up and facing half a centuries and centuries away in jail, now you're still uh, benefiting off it. I just think that that's wrong. Um, but... I know you guys probably came here for the uh, 6 9 news as far as 6 9 new music. I know it's been reported that 6 9 signed a deal for $10 million and he got a $10 million deal on the table. That is absolutely false, 100% false, and I'm going to explain to you why that's false. A lot of you guys don't know how this music industry thing works. Um, I said a long time ago, and if you guys have been following me, you know I don't really report a lot on this whole 6 9 and Treyway situation because I always said, not right now, but I always said somewhere in the future there's going to be a plot twist. There's definitely, I feel. In my professional, unprofessional opinion, that there's going to be a plot twist that none of us seen coming, and this deal that they're talking about was part of it's part of the plot part of the plot twist that I was actually talking about. Like you can go back to any of my six nine videos in the last six months. It's probably only maybe two or three videos because I don't really be following that that whole thing just for a specific reason that I don't really want to share with everybody until the plot twist happens. But I always said there's going to be a plot twist, and I think that this. Um, this is part of it. Now, back to the deal of him signing for $10 million. That's false. If you look at it, it says reportedly and allegedly, which means it's not set in stone, which means it actually didn't happen yet. It's saying that he's offered. Any label right now would be an absolute fool to offer him any type of deal without knowing when he's going to get out until like that court date gets moved out and they say, okay, time served or you're going to do this amount of time. No label is really going to sign a deal with them except for the label that he's already in a deal with, which that is a label that he's already in a deal with. Um, I think it's called 10 K or something like that. Is that what they're saying is that the 10 K company that he's already signed to or was already signed to is offering him a deal that's worth 10 million. They're not saying here's $10 million. So all you big YouTubers and all that saying he got a deal for 10 million. That's not how the industry works. What they do is they tell you, okay, they talk to you and say, okay, 6 9 listen, you about to get out in six months to a year. 
um, if you sign this contract for these four albums and say you got to hit three million streams on these three singles and you got to hit all of these different goals like that, then all together, this deal would be worth $10 million. Like, you would get $10 million payout. That's on four albums. or I'm not saying necessarily four albums, but it's not just, here's $10 million, here's your deal, this is for an album. No, this is for a long period of time or a long amount of projects of time. And it's not saying you're guaranteed that $10 million. It's like, sort of like with the NBA and the NFL. You know, like, an artist gets a deal that's worth, like, $250 million, but it's not guaranteed unless you actually hit these certain goals. Like, you get a certain amount of guaranteed money, but you hit these certain amount of goals. So, yeah, that's the truth about the 6 9 thing. So, there is going to be... Some new six nine music coming out, but I don't think it's gonna be. Let, let me. It's gonna be a plot twist. I think it's definitely gonna be a plot. Up, up until this point, I have not been wrong on the things that I've said about this whole six nine and Trey Wade situation. Um, but I definitely think there's gonna be a plot twist, and this whole ten k record label thing is gonna be a part of it. Mark my words. But I just want to share that with you guys. I've seen a lot of false news going around. Six nine signs a deal with such and such, ten million dollars. He's gonna get out of jail. Have ten million dollars? No, he's gonna get out of jail when he gets out of jail and. They'll work out a deal to where it may be worth ten million. The same thing when when Soldier Boy was saying he had to deal with the um, I think it was like a poker deal or something like that. He's like, man, I got paid a hundred million. No, the deal was worth a hundred million. Meaning if you promote it and they make this amount of money, then you would get that hundred million. Even though Soldier Boy was lying about that. But anyways, um, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, all that good stuff. Shouts out to the Bandana Fam. Um. Yeah, uh, we might be going live tonight also, too. I got to work a double tomorrow a double day after that, so not really sure. I only got about another 20 minutes left. I'm actually looking at my hand like I got my watch on when I don't, but I can see the clock right there. But got about another 20 minutes left on my lunch break. Uh, make sure y'all follow me. Remember, life's what you make it, so make it. DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well-Connected, even more respected. I'm out. DJ Ban Ban Bandana.